Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow siblings in Christ. I hope all is well with each and every one of you, and I hope that this video shall bless you. Right now, we have seen violence on an all-time high. And, no, and yes, I'm referring to more than the Baltimore riots that happened. We also know of other acts of violence that happen all around the world every single day. Kids being killed by their parents. We have... I read a story of a mother who bathed her 10-month-old child in the Shreveport area, an hour away from here, in bleach. There's evidence of people getting beheaded, being burned up, being stabbed, shot, all because they don't denounce Jesus' name. You have so much evidence of violence and chaos that's taking place all over the world that is more than evident of what happens when a nation, a world decides that it doesn't want God anymore. In particular, this country, the United States of America, where laws are being passed every single day that approve of homosexuality, gay marriage, weed smoking. When you have people who approve of murder, people who celebrate gangsters, in music, in movies, in television, the gangster lifestyle is celebrated from love and hip hop to empire, from the Godfather to Scarface, from Dirty Harry, if I go back a little bit, to <laughs> Belly. Any gangster movie or TV show you can think of that approves of the gangster drug dealing hustler lifestyle. And you also have television shows that celebrate homosexuality. You have reality shows that celebrate homosexuality. In recent time, we're getting ready to see the Dancing Elites coming on the Oprah Winfrey Network of five youth that are boys that act as girls and cross-dress and do cheerleading acts as feminine people. But we see how much denigration happens when you take the name of the Lord and you remove him and his word from school. When you remove God from work. When you remove God from church. I know folks are going to be like, how are you moving God from church? When you're letting the world in church. When you're letting worldly actions in church. When you're letting worldly music in church. When you're letting worldly actions in church. When you're letting worldly mindsets in church. All you get is world. When you remove God from everywhere. All you get is hell, literally. When you remove God from church, you let the devil in. When you remove God from your everyday life. How then do you expect peace? It'll be nothing but chaos. As soon as you... Let God away from your life to let the devil in. And many people believe that it's going to be a peaceful time coming up once certain events and certain actions happen. But folks forget the scripture like 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 and other scriptures that mention of peace, 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 and there shall be no peace. When the Antichrist is getting ready to come, the new world order is getting ready to come. When you have so much that's going on out here, the agenda is unfolding one day after another. The days of Noah are here. The days of Lot are here. The days of destruction are here. And people think it's going to get better. But if you read Matthew 24, the book of Daniel, the book of Revelation, it's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. You're going to see more violence. You're going to see more disrespectful kids and parents. You're going to see more gangsters. You're going to see more murder. You're going to see more anger. You're going to see more hatred. You're going to see more evidence of Satan operating in this place before the Antichrist arises. You're going to see so much dehumanization. You're going to see so much wickedness abound. Witchcraft abound. Destruction abound. Lying abound. You read Matthew 24, you see everything that's coming because the Lord told you it's coming. 
You read the book of Daniel and you let the Lord give you understanding, you'll see what's coming. You read the book of Revelation, you'll see what's coming, if it hasn't already came. So much evidence of what's happening is going on right now. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Give your all to God now while you still have a chance. Draw unto the Lord while he is yet nigh, while he is yet near. Don't wait until that very last single second for you to come to God. Because if you wait until the very last second to come to God, that very last second will be too late. Think of the story of Noah to bring this back to your memory. Noah warned people from the time God told him to build that boat. Noah was warning people left and right. The flood is coming. The flood is coming. The flood is coming. The flood is coming. And people thought Noah was drunk, that Noah was out of his mind, that Noah was lying until the flood came. His family survived, the animals survived, but those who did not believe died. Don't let this be you. The flood is coming, but the flood is not going to be water, as the Lord said in his word. The flood is going to be fire. The flood is going to be his wrath. The flood is going to be his anger poured out with indignation upon those who reject him. Don't let this world sucker you. Don't let this world pull you away from him. Don't fall into that strong delusion in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Don't become a reprobated minded person from Romans chapter 1 verse 21 through 32. Don't be one of those that turn his heart away from God to follow his own flesh. Come to God while you still can. You see the evidence of a nation and a world away from God. You sure you want to stay here? May the Lord bless you.